Oh, that nigga grabbed an extra two. Hold on, he stopped singing that for shit. Yeah, Let nigga. Me. <laughs> Let me have some fries. You got that nigga singing that. That shit's so oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, he taking my pieces now. Yeah. Shit, I want some. This nigga go. Gotta have oh, some. Yeah. Oh, bless Come some more. Ah, that's all I need. Oh. Appreciate you, bitch. Good day, gotta go. See, that's how you. He ain't wanted that at the right time. That's how you start off breaking bread. You got damn right. You gotta keep it real, real nice and, and, and black with that. You no break, cap. Break bread first. Yeah. Then get to the work part. <laughs> it's a team building exercise. Just like the so track, man. So you ask him. So you ask him. That was, that was the man. We breaking bread. Are we? Yeah, no question. We in. Right now? All right, say no more. That I don't remember you. that now. I'm looking you in your eye, nigga. You owe me. All right. What the hard thing talking about? Come on. <laughs> the niggas say I was supposed to be in Harder They Fall. My team fucked up. You hear that team? You meant to be in Harder They Fall. You meant to be one of the Crimson Hoods. In that beginning shootout. When it, I'm going to give you the reveal. You. 100%. Fact. And because of that, you owe me one more shrimp. Hey, good day, gotta go. <laughs> Boy, I'm on my team. Hey, when they leave. Damn. Oh, you need a new Y'all team. Y'all got me fucked up. Who you hit? I want to see the paper trail, nigga. I don't know. My people hit your people. I was like, Sometimes I your people be lying. No? I need DC Young Fly. When it comes to casting, I'm a I want, OG. I'm the I'm, I'm nigga that go to every resort. I want to talk to him face mm-hmm. to face. Like, you hit my people, show me. Let me have one more fly. Oh, he finessing now, Fly. He finessing. Yeah, that hell no. Where he go? I feel like it's finessing. Yeah, yeah, nigga. I'm like, this shit going too far now. He's singing your way to your dinner and shit now. My mic drop. Nigga, tell me, I'm going to put you in a movie. Now, one more shrimp. One more shrimp. Nigga, hold on. Nigga. You want to be in the car today, Pop. Now, one more shrimp. The better the food get, the longer the story is. That's right. I get your team. Yeah, right. I really did, man. I just the day. One more shrimp. Mm. They get ready to fix your mic, then we'll jump Okay, okay. Someone fix my mic? Yeah, they getting it. Oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. bitch is busting. Welcome to the city, my boy. It's called JJ. Right. By time. Let's find some pies, hello. Don't yeah. be talking off my food now. By the time all the shrimp is going to be 501. We ain't got to go. This shit must. Mm. That's hard. Much. Hard like yeah, hard. 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 Yeah, hard. Hard. Hell no, I'm a nigga from London, nigga. Oh, oh you from London? That's why you was talking like them niggas. Oh, that goes crazy. <laughs> I was going to ask that nigga, where are you from? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know where you from, man. That go. Um, that go crazy. Shit, I probably been hard they fall. I'm cussing their ass out. No cap. Soon this shit over with. Now, as soon as the shrimp gone, you gonna find out if you really was supposed to be on the movie. Nigga, I'm eating shrimp. Oh, I know you better not fall in my goddamn face, I'll tell you that. that. Shit I hate when my face be too close yeah, to ass. That shit crazy. That's janky. That's janky. It's, it's over the fries and all the shit. Nigga mm. fall and act like they ain't fart. Look at him. He walked Especially out like that wear purple. That's a, that's a farty color. That nigga purple. walked off like he farted. <laughs> Niggas that wear purple be farting this shit. Watch out, man. That's yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, yo. Welcome to the shit. Mm-hmm. My boy gotta go to JJ. And how I leave tomorrow? Nah, he gonna have to go with somebody. Yeah, I, Listen, when you, it's around the corner. When you, before y'all five on one meeting, y'all want some JJ. Take him to JJ. Now, how yeah, I go to JJ? JJ. What you want? JJ. They ain't rushing them boys. Man, JJ, bro. man, you wanna get some proper Go to JJ. Day. Get What's them boys 20 piece shrimp. shrimp with the fries. Oh, the shrimp. That Y'all eat good. chicken, I don't fuck with chicken. Nah, Give me the chicken. Sure. Get two shrimp. You want some fish? Hell yeah. Three shrimp. Yeah, three shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Three three shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. Tell them to make it. Y'all sure. boy look like y'all like y'all see Chris. Tell them to make it Chris. Tell them to eat. Chris, tell them to make the fries. Take the shrimp. No, we can't get money. They booze. Y'all don't want nothing. Sauce on. They just had a steak five minutes ago. What's on, on? Now, when your shit get here, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, on that like it's mine. I'm just letting right. you know I'm already dibbing on that. Exactly. Yeah. Right. But right now, we're going to do two things. No, no, no. You already okay, put that on one time. You're going to okay, get the shrimp. Okay, okay. Get the shrimp. Damn, that nigga hungry as a motherfucker. Don't worry about it. Oh, we busting that down. I'm busting that down. Yeah, I'm just making sure we on the same page. Yeah, that motherfucker fit, don't it? That bitch fit real good. You want to put it on again? Well, put that bitch on again, my boy. Yeah. Get your shine on. Man, fuck with me. Welcome to the city. Yeah, man, put it on that. 
with my pinky. Yeah. You know, my shit. I got the nails up. What bells did? What what made you go with the color? It's emerald green. Right? Mm-hmm. Green's my dad's favorite color, you know what I mean? Yeah. F5. You know what I'm saying? What made you just say, fuck it, I'm painting? Oh, I, I always paint my nails. Word. Always. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that way when I do a crime, they just look for the guy with the painting. You know what I mean? Yeah. I might just, you might come around to my house, I paint your nails quickly. You trying to get talk. caught? Let you, no, no. No, he you tell him after he do the crime. Nah, you, yeah. you ain't even in the crime. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. You don't do crime? With, no, no. <laughs> never. I'm not even, why you keep thinking you I'm in with some crime shit? <laughs> I don't <laughs> fuck with the streets the at bag, all. The bag says different. <laughs> Crazy. Look at the bag. You need a gray beard, beard, beard in the streets, my nigga. You see my sweater? Don't you look like a nigga that be doing crime with this? What's up? Look at that dog and make that ass sweater. He do great shit. Had crime. Now, I don't fuck with no crime. Mm-hmm. No crime. No crime. Look at me. You think I'm going to jail in this size? No way. You got me fucking. Threes. threes. You got the threes on. You fucking right. So, mm. Ain't no crime over here, mm-hmm. man. Hell no. Do y'all, do y'all judge like niggas in Africa, like in America type <laughs> shit? Like different <laughs> than the people in London? Like the black yeah. people in London? Yeah, yeah. yeah huh? Yeah. Yeah, they they probably be like, like they. No, no, we, we, we're the same. Them niggas is different in nah, America. Nah, 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 we're the same. Baby. It's all, it's all love. It's all. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We the same, man. Black people, are black people. You ain't never been to London. Africans, you know what I mean? I ain't been to London. You, you never been to London. I want to go. Hell, love, I've been to London three times. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. And, Hell, we're, and we're up like on the show. Like we watch. For real. You guys close? Yeah. yeah. Now, what's going on over there right now in the black community? It's pretty much the same as what's going on over here. I know. You know what I mean? We're trying to survive and trying to trying to make it happen and trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Make better of ourselves, better of our circumstances. Right. You know what I mean? Same, same, same judgment, same rules and regulations and restrictions they put on us. We're trying to break free of. You know what I mean? When did you first come to the US? In 93. Yeah. 93. Mm. New oh, York. Damn. How old you were there? I was a kid, man. I was a kid, like super kid. And then, then I moved to New York in 98. I signed my first record deal. Moved to New York in 98. I was there for like three years. Mm-hmm. Dude, fire musician, man. He did all the music, on the film, sang right. on it. His voice is crazy. Just multi-talented. It's crazy. So what, 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 what kind of like started you with the art, with the renaissance? Because people don't understand, like when you in that era, in that realm, that's theater, that's theatric, that's mm-hmm. a renaissance, that's art. Yeah. So it ain't just, oh, I'm an actor. Yeah. It's like, it's way more behind it, yeah. what brings the character to life. Like, Absolutely. What, 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 like, inspired you to start? You know, like, when I was a kid, my mom, she bought me, like, a, a Super 8 camera when I was seven. Right. And then she bought me, like, a Bolex 16 millimeter at the age of 13. Mm-hmm. So I was always filming. But then there was instruments in the house. Well, that shrimp hit me different. That shit hit you. If you got ass, we never had that. Hey. <laughs> that nigga said, What? Yeah, that, that shrimp hit me different. Yeah. That, shit that nigga felt that in his heart. <laughs> I'm in Atlanta. That, shrimp. that, shrimp. <laughs> that nigga felt that Atlanta in his heart. Yeah. So this, yeah. Is yeah. this is what they mean. This is what they mean. That nigga nah. finna start yeah. smoking weed, do hell of shit now. Shrimp out here is kind of different. That shit hit that yeah. Anyone for, anyone for cheeseburger? Yeah. yeah. So, so then she bought me a, a, a 60 millimeter at age, like, 13, now I was always shooting, right? right? But then there was instruments in the house, I was always doing music. So it's not really what made me start, it's what made me not stop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then we come from the era of, of, and some people are throwbacks, like you're a throwback, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You don't just do comedy, you don't just act, you sing, you right. do all, all this uh, this uh, different type of stuff. And and for me, that's what it was. Like we're, we're expressionists, we're right. artists. And, right. and you have to I always say, obey your crazy. All the ideas that are in your head, all of the, the things, people, the older you get, and the more you're on this planet, people are just telling you what you what you can't do. Right? That's impossible. That's impossible. That's yeah, impossible. like you don't do crime and shit. Exactly. exactly. You know what I mean? Not even know. Yeah. You an old ass man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, uh, and my then, baby boy, fifteen. Come on. <laughs> you're like a G. That's the first sign of being an old black man when they yeah. tell you how old the youngest is. Oh, my baby, fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. He older than you know, my young, my young. No, it's, it's factual though. Okay. And so, and so we just, you know, we we just stay stay doing it. Right. And that's why my first film, The Harder They Fall. Was 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 like you know me kind of multitasking on that and the same 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 with this. Mm-hmm. You still need a team. You still need a Lakeith Stanfield. You mm-hmm. still need a 
you know, when you stop acting bougie and start receiving my calls, hey, man, you, you still need a DC I'm young flight. You, you know what I mean? Today. You still need a still, All you know, red stop today. You need the right, the right team to to uh, take your take your aspirations to the next mm. next level. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Nice way of him telling you to get a new team. Mm -hmm. You heard I heard him. You heard him. I heard him. But mm -hmm. you're real special in the space, man, because not only are you ambitious, you're actually like multi-talented in different spaces, but mm -hmm. it's like the way you can manifest things is unlike most people. It starts as an idea, and, an idea, and you're able to actually make it become manifest. Yeah. And I feel like that's a beautiful thing, and it's in the American spirit to make some shit happen, mm -hmm. you feel me? So it was like, it's dope that cinema and you came together and manifest in this way. You made the harder they fall, it's like black people are cowboys and shit. We ain't never seen that before. Yeah, and the way that history tries to depict it, like we ain't there. Yeah. And here we did it again with the Book of Clarence. Now we in biblical time. And it's not just a joke. It's not just like, ha, 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 look at the black people. There are some grounded moments in here, some yeah. real shit. Yeah. And that's a beautiful thing for us to see ourselves in history because we know we was there, we but they try to act like we wasn't. So yeah. I think you're doing really important things. And I, 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 I support that. Most definitely. Now, how did y'all meet? How did y'all, because look, y'all have you going crazy too now. Yeah. You've been doing your shit for a long time, so yeah. how did this right here come about? Uh, we met, you was just talking about it, we yeah. met uh, at the gold party uh, some years ago. And it was just in passing, like, I don't think we was talking about... Not, nothing, just pizza. Yeah, we were talking about pizza or yeah. some shit. We didn't know. But, you know, I always try to, like, treat people well, treat them, you know, as they come. And so, you know, we were just talking about that. You never know who you're talking to or yeah. who they're going to become. So it's just important to, like, you know, carry that golden rule. And years later, you know, we we, uh, we crossed paths on the heart of their fall. So we did that one. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of that one, he was like, I got another one that I'm doing next. Mm -hmm. That uh, I just want to send you the script. So he sent me the script for this one, Book of Clarence. And when I got done reading it, I was like, damn, this shit is crazy as hell. Like, I ain't never read nothing like this where it's like, black people in a biblical time? Yeah. Jesus there and Jesus black? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro, we doing this shit. So it was just like, it was easy once I, once I saw the script. And Clarence went through a story that was just like mine. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be somebody, he didn't have shit. It was a rag to riches story. And he did whatever he felt was necessary to get there. Like, I moved to LA in my car, just like, I'm about to be an actor and for years, just auditioning, failing, failing. Finally got an opportunity and buzz through. So mm -hmm. I know what it's like to like want something and try to attain it any means necessary. And sometimes you go about it and you do things that you know don't don't feel good. And you go through things that don't feel good. I had to sleep on the floor, actors, houses who were like, you ain't gonna never be shit. You know, niggas just hating or whatever. But you know, you get through that and you get through the trials and tribulations and you open up at the end and you learn something. So Clarence went through that story and I figured I want to share that because it feel like me, but also I know it feel like so many other people. Mm -hmm. So. So, you know, it's inspiring. Mm, yeah. Man, this will be the perfect time to tell the people this shit. Come on. Hey, man, welcome back to the oh! Eight Five Self Show. You know what time it is? You're doing your job. Come on. And that's exactly how we live in DC. We got some very special guests in the house with us today talking about a super dope movie. Yes, sir. That's about to shake shit up. None other. Shit, you can already say it. This, this is a young legend right here, Luke. We love to throw that word around, brother. Mm -hmm. New black Hollywood. This guy don't even do a lot of podcasts and interviews and shit like that. So it's an honor and a privilege to have y'all in here with us today, man. None other than Lakeith Stanfield. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's an honor to be here as well, man. It's a, it's a... Damn, you ain't let me finish. Oh, but go ahead. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me interject. He, 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 he tried to bring it in. I'm just saying it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor to be here because I've been watching what you guys have been doing for, for years. Oh, for and putting it out for years. You know, I'm not even speaking to my guy. Don't. Right here now because, you, know, he, you know what I mean? He, he, he fucked it up. Yeah, I ain't called shit up. Call yeah. me. I this is what happened. Right up. Yeah, he gave us a scissors. They would have shot in the speak to them. Sneakers. And then, and then, um, but you know, we've been, we've been watching you guys for years, man. How how you've grown and where you where you came from, and then from Wildin' Out to this, and then but before Wildin' Out, then Instagram things when you and a uh, black youngster was mm -hmm. in the video. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey. <laughs> 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 I like that freaky <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like that. I remember that time. <laughs> These dudes is mad talented, man, and just to just to you know like you're all Renaissance Renaissance men, like you're all like multi talented individuals, and and what I love about you guys is is um you defy expectations and you defy the restrictions and the and the and the boxes mm -hmm. that you're meant to be in. Like you guys was doing this before podcasting was a thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. then you do your tours and we'll be watching clips of your tours from, from overseas. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's an honor to be here man. And, you know what I mean? To be amongst yeah. other black kings. It's it's important. 
Hey, man. It's, it's, it's a honor. Shame, man. Oh, man. All right, no. I, I up, man. Because I see you, you, you throw work to the comedians. Man. I love the fact that you with the heart of they fall, uh, yeah. Dion Cole in there. Dion Cole, mm -hmm. yeah. That shit was perfect. Fully. Yeah, perfect. it's like, perfect. oh shit, my partner, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just I dope. Even, I didn't even make him audition. I was like, I was like, hey, listen, man, I seen this stand-up, he's got a wicked voice. And, and you know, like a lot of times comedians are the dopest actors. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I called him, I FaceTimed him. I was like, yo, I'm James Samuel, peace to the black god. Listen, say this back to me. Treacherous Trudy Smith from Quick Draw Cherokee Bill. He went, Treacherous Trudy Smith, a quick draw, Cherokee Bill. Get ready to come to New Mexico. You're in the heart of their fall. Peace oh, to the Damn. That was it. No, I was like, hey, yeah. Man. Yeah. That's yeah. That's that's and everyone was like, how come he's in it? How come he's in it? I was like, wait till you wait till you see. Right. Him and Idris, when they were fighting, mm -hmm. it was pure contact, because Dion don't do action, action uh movies. Mm -hmm. So he did, remember, you yeah, were there. Yeah. He didn't know where to where to stand. So mm -hmm. the first time he threw a punch, bah! He connected with Idris. And then when Idris went when they were fighting with the gun, gun. Idris, Idris grabbed the gun from Regina. It was like, bah! Dion kind of moved in by accident. And then mm -hmm. just went, bah! You saw the tit echo through his hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> through, mm -hmm. through the whole thing. That shit was real. Yeah, it was yeah. real. And then, and then he came back. But he was amazing. I knew that when people see him, in the movie, they'll no longer see him as just a just a mm. uh, comedian. They was like, Spice. "You got an Old Spice guy because he does an Old Spice commercial." Because mm -hmm. I'm American, I never seen an Old Spice commercial. I just know that he is the best guy for the role. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's a person that defies expectations, like all of us sitting here today. That's you hard. Know what I mean? That's hard. Yeah, it's That's deep. hard. That's hard. That's My name hard. is James Samuel, by the way. We didn't get a chance. We was we like to build our shit up. It's yeah, a flow. We, we, we can build it. Right the right damn. Play the episode, man. He trying to just jump in here. I think that was a good intro. That was a hell, no, of, that was a hell of an intro. That was a hell of an intro. They gonna be like, man, we fuck with James. <laughs> yeah. <You're... laughs> man, give us the rundown. The book of Clarence. How does shit come about, bro? What made you? What made you go reach out to Lakeith to bring that shit to life? The, well, the book. Of Clarence. I, I'll be honest. As soon as I saw the trailer and I saw the like. The screen cameras, I was like, man, what the hell going on? Right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, growing up, we grew up in, in uh, and I, I think a lot of us, right, mm -hmm. um, grew up, you know, like God is a is a huge thing in our in our communities right. and is our, is, our, is our light. And mm -hmm. because of that reason, you know, our parents and our families, we love those Bible movies, mm -hmm. Ten Commandments, Ben-Hur, and I love the Bible movies that kind of aren't about the Bible, they run alongside it, but then Jesus might pop up, like in mm -hmm. Ben-Hur, he pops up to give him some water and he's been crucified in the end. I love those kind of movies. But while the stories in the Bible are clearly about the environments that we grew up in, like Jesus was a carpenter, right? Mm -hmm. And he, he was born in a manger, they didn't have bread. And the areas they're talking about are the neighborhoods that we, we live in. Mm -hmm. But you don't really see that in those films. You don't see people that look like us. Like, I've been all around the world. I've never seen a person that looks like Charlton Heston. Even a white person. I ain't seen no person, white person that looks like Charlton Heston or Kurt Douglas or Victor <laughs> Mature. Any of those dudes. But I've seen people that look like my brother's here and my sister's here. And, and, and we've all seen these, these people. So I wanted to do a, uh, a story based around... I wanted to do a story based around, like, the area... And, and that looked like the area and the environment that we all grew up in. I grew up in Mozart State, Hove grew up in Marcy Projects, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, like, I wanted to do a story based around the, that looks like the environment I grew up in, but transpose it 2,000 years, years back. Mm -hmm. And to show how nothing's changed mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. those days. We mm -hmm. said grace before we, we ate. Nothing's changed since, since those days. I wanted to see how, I wanted to show how in alignment we are. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I honestly believe like that kids now, Hollywood stopped making those biblical movies. Mm -hmm. But kids now need those movies, man. Like we need to, to and it's okay to, to believe and to, to and, and also, Jesus was the first superhero. Mm -hmm. So let me just take that back right quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and give us a, a, you know, first I took him to the Old West. I delivered the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Ah! <laughs> what else yeah, up his sleeve? That nigga, oh. that nigga's ass. Now we gotta go out of space, though. <laughs> yeah. We gotta get a space. Yeah, right? oh, 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 we, we, yeah, we, we gonna go out of space. And, and I'll say, like, when I was, I was like, speaking to, to the cast for The Heart of Day 4, mm -hmm. right? Me and Lakeith had a, had a conversation. We met for him to play the character of Cherokee Bill. Right. And, 
and his phone rang, right? You, I mean, you could speak more to that, but Lakeith's phone rang. So he was talking to me about, about the film, about the role, about how he sees it, and his phone rang, it was his cousin. And he had to call me back in 15 minutes, and he was like, he just broke character, like something real happened in the hood. And he started breaking out, look, I just got to take this call. And he had to tell me why he took the call, because, you know, it's a professional meeting. He was like, yo, man, my cousin just called, and, 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 you know, you know what's going to happen? He gets shot, who knows? In that little 30-second description uh -huh. of neighborhood antics, uh -huh. when he put down the phone, I called my sister Tanya. Tanya! Tanya! I got Clarence, because I wrote Clarence. Years ago, I wrote the book Clarence years ago, but Clarence is an impossible person to cast. Mm -hmm. That movie does not stand up if you don't have Lakeith Stanfield. Mm -hmm. And when I had him, I knew it. From the minute he, was, he came to set every scene we shot, I was like, look, don't go too far. After this movie, I got something else. Mm -hmm. After this movie, I got something else. On the, on the day we wrapped, I was like, yeah, 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 but don't go mm -hmm. too far. I got, I got something else for you. Like, I got something else. And it's something that in 135 years of moving image, we have never seen Black King. Mm -hmm. We have never seen my brother. In 135 years of the moving image, we've never seen black people able to say, this Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah, it didn't look like us. Even though he described like us. Mm -hmm. like I gotta ask you this, yeah. you know, this is a touchy subject with the, how black people, they serious about Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Are you, like, have you faced any criticism or backlash or about people saying, you can't do this, this is blasphemous, this not right, why y'all playing with the Lord? I think yeah, people these days are really apt to fall victim to uh, judgment without context. I think and now the, the, the idea that everyone has a voice now on the internet gives them the incentive to want to speak about things and speak intelligently about things, whether they know the full scope or not. So you see some imagery and you immediately run to think that that's what it is. I mean, absolutely anyone who sees this film, they will easily see that there's not anything blasphemous about it. In fact, it's not a story about Jesus or the Bible per se at all. It's really a story about maybe the person that lived down the street from Jesus, maybe lived around the corner from Jesus. What about the person that saw what Jesus was doing and he wanted to be like him. Mm. So we're, we're capturing these outside stories that juxtapose a time and space that we all know and are familiar with and have never seen ourselves in. It is a brilliant, brilliant depiction and I think we, we underserve ourselves by judging before we get to the theater seat. Mm -hmm. Go see it. Mm -hmm. Go see what it's about. And yeah. I promise you, you'll leave feeling how I felt, yeah. which is inspired. Mm -hmm. That's why we made this, to inspire mm -hmm. people. You know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't about playing with God. It ain't about none of that. It's about inspiring yeah. the God in you. Mm. And also, you know, the second, when people saw the first teaser, which was a brilliant teaser, I saw a lot of voices of blasphemy. But, but I would say, one, we ain't got no backlash. Mm. My back ain't got no scars on it. Yeah, this ain't backlash. This yeah. is voices on the voices on the mm. on the internet. Talk so let's just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's, let's just let's just leave yeah, that ain't right, nobody right, touch right you. there. Yeah, right, right, I'm right, right, right. Mozart like, State. I ain't had no lashes on my back. Yeah. So you, you 300 years too late Talk for them. For them oh, for them okay. That's, so, yeah. okay. That's one. Uh -huh. Two. When they saw the first teaser, it's like, oh, blast me, blast me, blast me. It's real ignorance for people to say that after 60 seconds. Of, of imagery. Yeah. When we drop the second trailer, now people are seeing, okay, so Jesus exists and we ain't seen Jesus like this before. So if someone says blasphemy, you have to stand on it. I wanna, I wanna know why you're saying this is blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because all the people are black? Mm -hmm. Okay, because mm -hmm. if you read about the Bible, people, people quote the Bible all the time right? mm -hmm. and we talk about the Bible, but they really know nothing about the Bible. If you say to your average, to your average Joe, what currency did they use in the Bible days? Mm -hmm. They will be stuck. Mm. What was the currency in the Bible days? Okay, Matthew 24, 5. Jesus himself says, many will come in my name, mm. pretending they are the Christ, the Messiah, and they would lead many astray. In Matthew 24, 5, in Jesus' time period, there was like two to 300 people that were saying that they're the Messiah. They're the Messiah, as foretold in the prophecy. They are the Messiah. And the Romans used to crucify these people en masse. Any Google search would show you this. The Bible is all about sinners. It's a book for sinners. We wouldn't need the Bible if none of us sinned. Mm. Let he who was without sin cast the first stone. We wouldn't need the Bible if, if there was no sin, right? Mm -hmm. So the Bible is a guide for all of us to kind of live, live better. God had better things to do with his time than give Moses 10 commandments. Mm -hmm. But these ratty humans keep breaking, mm -hmm. breaking the laws. So, so the book of Clarence is literally the story about an, an everyman, an everyman. Tell someone that, that doesn't believe about the, the um, virgin birth, right? 
So someone that doesn't believe about this man that walked on water and this and that and the other. So Clarence is receiving all this information. He doesn't believe at first. And he goes on a journey of self-discovery and ultimately redemption and finding faith. It's a wicked film, man. It's a wicked film. And I challenge all my peers to equal it, to do the same. I, I, I say this like in all humility. I shouldn't, it shouldn't have had to take us 135 years to see the Book of Clarence. Right? Mm-hmm. It shouldn't have had to take us take us that long. And it shouldn't have to take us so much convincing to get people to support movies like this. Mm-hmm. Because this is the way these movies are continued to be made. It's made by support. Yeah. So we got to support this so we're able to be imaginative and make films that move the needle. People yeah. say they're tired of the same ass movie in Hollywood. Well, we're trying to shake it up. Yeah. And the way you do that is support of the people. So so go see it. Go mm-hmm. see it, man. Go see it. I know I get animated. No, no, nigga. It's deep. You're convincing the fuck out of everybody, for right, sure. Right, right. But, but it's, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a deep thing, and, and it's easy to look at something and condemn it, right? Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. easy to condemn your show when you haven't watched it. Mm-hmm. It's easy to condemn I always say it's easy to give to, to be generous when there's when you've nothing to give, right? It's easy to condemn something without sight. But that's real, like it's it's ignorance. Like Yeah, and I, I don't even think it's really us like that. I yeah. think it's people talking about it's too woke. You know, yeah. like there's, there's these re, these reverberating sentiments that anytime you see somebody black, it's woke. Yeah. Or anytime you see somebody, you yeah. know, a populated cast of people that are non-white, it's yeah. it's woke. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a way of trying to make it. Like that ain't you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Even though cinema, but those are people yeah. that don't understand what's really going on. Cinema you can been, tell yeah. when you speak, you like I already know what side you play yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. But I'm gonna continue to speak wisdom, and until you get it, it's okay. I can't just knock it in your head. Yeah. But yeah. the ones who hear me, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. we got stuff to yeah. do. Exactly. Watch and be real. And you know the crazy thing? The crazy thing about like the crazy irony, black gods, is Jesus only had twelve apostles. Right. He didn't have seven and a half billion. Right. Basically, all the people that was around in Jesus' day did not believe he was the Messiah. Mm-hmm. He had like crowds and stuff, crowds. And the rest of the people were condemning him, mm-hmm. right? Were condemning him. He had, he had 12, mm-hmm. he didn't have 12,000. Mm-hmm. 12, like loyal, mm-hmm. compadre. And Good. some of them weren't even loyal. Watch <laughs> this. When Peter the Rock, mm-hmm. when Peter the Rock said, said how, could, how could Judas do that? Mm-hmm. How could Judas do that? Mm-hmm. Jesus turned to Peter. It's a Peter the Rock. Mm-hmm. If you were called the Rock in ancient Jerusalem, in the Jesus days, do you know how hard you must have been? Jesus turned to Peter and he went, don't worry, bro. You will deny me three times by the time, time the cock crows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll never do that, the mm-hmm. Romans came. Are you with him? No, mm-hmm. I'm not with him. Mm-hmm. I'm not with him. Mm-hmm. Talk, I don't your mind. Talk. <clears throat> talk to your talk. Back though. Talk your talk. Like this is this is this is what it is. This mm-hmm. is this is literally in the book everyone claims mm-hmm. to have read. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And mm-hmm. I believe, me personally, right? In this age of of remixes and remixes and rehashes and rehashes, there's no original storytelling. Mm-hmm. Yep. No more. Among all races, all cultures, there's no original storytelling. We deserve this movie. Mm-hmm. We deserve it. You deserve to see yourself in a biblical setting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because if you read that book, that's yourself. Mm-hmm. It's talking about. Mm-hmm. And everyone can relate. Everyone. If you're Chinese, you can relate to this environment. If you're white, you can relate to this environment. Everyone has seen this environment. But do you know what environment we ain't, we ain't seen? Charlton Heston. Mm-hmm. In the, no one's seen no one that looks like Charlton Heston. No and like, even though they try to say like the music don't match, because it's, it's hip hop and it's biblical times, but it's like, if you think about Bach, that don't match with biblical times okay. either. They wasn't back there going, you know, yeah. like, yeah, like, you know, exactly. playing that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, So tell me, when I, when I put like Barrington Levy and all them reggae artists on, on, a, on the heart of they fall, it's like, you know, you put modern music on the Western. Let me tell you something. Jesse James and Billy the Kid never probably even heard of electricity, let alone the electric guitar. When you hear ding 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 That wasn't around in the Western days. Wasn't around in the cowboy days. It's all modern music. If you're making a biblical setting, anything you put on there melodically is modern. So when you hear like, if you you might hear Hove's voice on something original, or you might hear Terry Callier or George Benjour, like a Brazilian legend, mm-hmm. on the soundtrack and weaving in and out of the score, mm-hmm. really, it's just us. It's just us. And now, your children, right? I 
love your children. Well. Mm, I appreciate your family. Peace to the black God, my brother. Appreciate you, brother. Your children have something to look at when they need to find strength mm -hmm. because of everything that you've gone through and everything that they, they've gone through. Mm -hmm. Me, I lost my father at nine years old. Now, like my son has something to look at mm -hmm. and look at himself in those days. Like all of us, because we deserve it. Mm -hmm. And the one thing, the <coughs> one thing, it's because I'm on this podcast, mate. It's so free. No, I love pop you, it, pop There's it. nothing I won't do. Pop your shit. Hey, hey love. Here's the thing. Black people, man, we are so quick to put ourselves down. Mm -hmm. I say peace to the God. Every man, black man I meet, right? Peace, black king, we kings. Oh, wow. Queens. We're so quick to put each other down. It's only black people that talk about Jay-Z and Beyonce are the Illuminati. Yeah, that's it, man. You never hear white people say, Steven Spielberg's Illuminati. Oh, wow. It's us, we're quick to do that with each other. Like, we're quick to see us rise and chop that. It got down. You got stuff we're quick, quick to do it, like, like, you need to see yourself as regal. Mm -hmm. I'll, con I'll, I'll, like, I'll conclude this rant by saying, my friend said to me, yeah, but I mean, we were kings and queens in Africa. We're kings and queens now. Yeah, but how do you know we were actual kings and queens? I told him, like, look, man, what makes the royal family in England the royal family? Mm -hmm. Who anointed them royal? Other humans. Well, mm. I, I'm a human. I anoint my people kings and queens. Mm -hmm. We are royal. We're regal. Deserve movies like this. We deserve one in four cowboys was black. That's what made the harder they fought. Mm -hmm. One in four cowboys was black. The name cowboy was for black people. Mm -hmm. White people were called cowhands. The name, the term cowboy, was a name they gave to blacks and people of color, Mexicans and stuff. White people were cowhands. But Hollywood reappropriated everything and just done this mad remit. If you're a woman in those Hollywood movies, you're a whore. You're a lady of the night. You're a, that's not how women work. Women from the beginning of time have led mm -hmm. entire entire uh, civilizations. Mm -hmm. Cleopatra never teach. So for me, we have to kind of like come out of out of seeing yeah. ourselves in the light that they give us mm -hmm. and start demanding our regality. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. start taking and start taking it back. Mm -hmm. And this movie isn't about colour, right? It's not it's not about about colour, but it's important. That, that you see yourself in that light. That exactly. You see yourself in, yeah. in that light. Yep. Yeah. Like you, you never see DC Young fly. It's a fact. Look at your, look at your stats. You never see DC Young. In fact, I'm gonna say this with the ring up. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Go ahead. He gonna get that ring, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you never see DC Young fly, and him not talking about God. Every time you post, every time you go through something, you're always talking about God, God, God. Pray, pray, pray every single time. Mm. That's how you got through what you got through and then you take us through it with you. So how come we ain't had no biblical movie? How I'm come honest. we can't see ourselves in that light visually? Tell me how. It's a fact. Champion God. Tell me how we can't see ourselves in that light. But the minute we do, blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Bl you saying blasphemy is actual blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know those? Yeah. I'm like the Blues Brothers. I'm on a mission. Be on a mission from God. Yes, sir. And if yes, I don't sir. blast, yes, he's gonna blast for me. Yeah. And I was just about then to you, ask you. Then you yeah. find out when you first came. You putting together a hell of a portfolio just with the roles that you taking, like Book of Clarence, man. Uh, shit, the the spook who sat by the door type shit. Like mm -hmm. really just taking it to the next level. Like people love your character Darius on um, Atlanta and shit. Like how do you build these characters and and give it your own flavor? I think the approach is always different, uh, contending on what the mission is. Uh, for this one, you know, I identify so much with Clarence that, you know, um, I really just had to seat myself in the environment and uh, tried to approach it in a way that... It's funny that you mentioned regality because that's what I think about when I think of Clarence. I kind of hold him in this way that makes him feel a little bit more regal. You know, and so I, I kind of wanted to incorporate those little intricacies. And then when I played his brother, his brother had a, just a little bit of a slightly different posture and he spoke with an English accent, you know? <laughs> and so I wanted to like give them their own difference. Since they're twins, they have subtle differences, but the differences are more in the character and less in how they, uh, how they profess, if that makes sense. So I was just trying to let the characters find and build themselves. Cause once you get there, we shot Matera in Italy and it's like Stasi, this like stone environment. Everything was made out of stone. It was horses and camels and all these black people in robes. And it was just like viscerally beautiful. It just felt like I had been here, if not in this life and another one. 
And so you felt so seated in the environment that all you had to do really was just let James's words kind of permeate and, and move through the characters, as well as the music. He was playing music on set the whole time, so we had, you know, these giant dances, and you know, just everybody beautiful and black and dancing, so the environment just felt rich. And we weren't worried about the shit, this, this, can I cuss on you? Yeah, shit? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, we've been doing so it's many of them, and you can't. Yeah, yeah, this ain't one of them. Hey, the like, yeah. We talk about hoes and all type of shit oh, on this dude. motherfucker. Yeah, so we had, yeah, we had just been through. You know, it, it was just, it was just a beautiful, beautiful environment, and it just felt rich and new, and that we were on the cusp of making something special mm -hmm. for us. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So finding these characters in particular was was quite nice and, and, and different in that way. But generally, it kind of takes the form it takes. It's a it's a secret formula. I can't release right. that. Oh, okay. James, man, look, yeah. man. So, so you directed the Harder They Fall. Yeah. Okay. So it right. wrote. So, so black, Pose. black. Mm. Being able to direct, cause Michael B on his, he, he on his journey to. Yeah. He, he smashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He smashed. He smashed. How do we get in that position? Okay. And when do we get in that position? And how do we know that? Okay. We in this position. When is this? It's, it's time. Here's the thing. Here's when. Now. Mm -hmm. I always used to look at the word time when I was like 11 years old. Right? Mm -hmm. I used to look at the word time. Right? And I, I used to say to my mom, I said to my mom, Mommy, does time mean this is my era? I thought that like that when I was a kid. And she said, no, son, it means something else. It probably gave me a dictionary. Right? Whatever it meant, it doesn't mean it to me. Time means this is my era. From the second you're born to the last day of your life, that entire period is your era. There is no old, there is no young. Generations, these things are just words. Mm -hmm. This is your era. What are you going to do with it? And mm -hmm. we have to not think, we have to not allow people to, to <coughs> ceiling mm -hmm. our destination, mm -hmm. right? With their own limitations. One, the time is, is now. If you feel your filmmaker, Right? and you have something to say, you are a filmmaker. And two, how you get there, let me tell you something. Quentin Tarantino, uh, Eli Roth, all of those people, Robert Rodriguez, at that time in the, in the 90s when they all came out, if that was today, them dudes would have been using the iPhone. Mm -hmm. These are powerful Damn. tools. Every single one of us can make, can shoot films with this. I'm speaking to Apple now for a whole uh, show I have shot solely on an iPhone, right? In fact, you'll probably be in this. Just come on. Now, now, uh, now, so the time, time is now. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's there, and the tools are in our, are in our hands, mm -hmm. right? We just have to know. We just have to almost like uh, jump out of again, jump out of the box that we've been we've been putting mm -hmm. because we were put in a box, but it's us that keeps us there. Mm -hmm. We have to jump out of that, out of that box. And know that now there are no rules. Mm -hmm. There are no rules, but the rules that we set for mm -hmm. ourselves. Otherwise, my first movie, let me tell you something. Like, there was a guy, good guy, Andre Evelino, right? Mm -hmm. Andre Evelino from Andy, Andy Studios. And he told me he wanted to meet me like 8 o'clock in the morning or, or 8.30 in the morning. I was like, man, I'm black. Like, do you build like, at 8 o'clock in the morning and meet him? Okay, he better be having some money for me because he wanted to, to invest in the harder they fall. Mm. And he met me eight o'clock, like eight o'clock in the morning at Claridge's hotel. I hate that hotel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, he sat me down. I'll be quick. He said, he said, when he told me he was gonna gonna uh, invest in the film, he went, James. And he has like a uh, uh, like speech impediment. Mm -hmm. It takes a while. And he says, sister, he goes, James, you are never going to make this movie. I'll never forget that. Like hearing someone kind of like stutter on the word never, like, brother. I thought he was going to say, you are new. I'm going to give you 20 minutes. Right, right. You are never going to make this movie. What? After he said he was going to invest. You are never going to make this movie. It's too big. You are talking about Idris Elba and this person. You are never going to make this movie. Now, usually, where I come from, my brother, I would slap someone for making me meet them at 8 a.m. You goddamn right. To give me bad news. You could have told me that over the phone, Negro, but you've mm -hmm. done something else that people don't do. He went, that's why I say his name. So he, he would verify this. You know, I'll give you five million. Now, today, make something small. Mm. If you make something small, be successful. I give you six million. Mm. 
If that's successful, serve them. And maybe your fifth, sixth movie is the Harder Day Four. At that time, I was making a Harder Day Four for 25 million. I thought the budget was getting me 25 million. I looked at this guy. I didn't want to slap him no more because it's deep. When a person wants to give you five million, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I could do it. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you was gonna right. give us a move for them shrimp right. earlier. Right. This no, minute. Now, right. We're not gonna eat fries and shrimp. Right, right. Yeah. Fries and shrimp tomorrow. Tomorrow. Today we go and shop. We go. First, I'm getting two of these. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna take it to like, my man. Yeah. Right, and then I'll say I'm shooting a movie. Right. I'll shoot a movie right. for one million. Anyway, right. He said, he said, uh, 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 take five mil. And I looked at him and I told him, and I mean what I'm about to say, Black Kings. I told him, look, a human beings biggest mistake is that as soon as something is given a title, we no longer call it magic. Watch this. That's not magic. That's FaceTime. I'm speaking to my mom. Mm. That's not magic. That's Bluetooth. Mm. That's not magic. As soon as we give something a title, we negate the fact that it's magic. When we are magic, I cut, I heal. You cut, you want to heal by itself. Mm -hmm. My hand. I used to be fascinated with my hands. That's why I paint my nails most times. Like, I love this tissue. And I told him, my brother, just because my title is James to you, you don't realize I'm magic. This was in 2017. Mm -hmm. He offered me five million. Mm -hmm. In 2019, I was gearing up to make the harder they fall for 90, 90 million dollars my debut. 90 or 19? Nine, zero. Woo! 90 million dollars. Watch this. Damn! And that was only four years later. Watch this. Exactly. Exactly. It was like two years later. It's mm -hmm. 2017. Oh, I thought it was 15. 20, 20, two years later. Year, right? I told this guy an hour before the trailer drops. I knew when that trailer drops, it's mayhem. Mm -hmm. I told him an hour before the trailer drops. He calls me bro. I said, bro. 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 I kept broing him up. So right. He replied, I haven't spoken to him in years. Bro. Check the internet in an hour. Check the internet in an hour. Not check YouTube, not check. Check the internet in an hour. That just dropped. You did it, bro. I understand. You are the physical personification of go for it. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm just magic. Mm. The time is now mm -hmm. for all of us that want to uh, do what it is we want to do. We mm. are filmmakers. We are great. We are. We are, don't let anybody sealing your destination with their own limitation. I hate the phrase, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. If the sky's the limit, people would never have gone to space. Facts. Sky ain't the limit. The whole solar system, people say, look at the solar system and see how, see how um, insignificant we are. Mm -hmm. What? I look at the solar system and see how big I am. Oh wow, look at my planets. Mm -hmm. The world is ours. We are magic. Mm -hmm. We can do it all. Hence, my first movie is The Harder They Fall. The second movie is The Book of Clarence. Ladies and gentlemen. It's That's what's up, man. Yeah. 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 He went crazy. He went crazy. He went crazy. He went crazy. Uh -huh. we, can, we can live in this shit here and talk this kind of shit all day, man. All day. But we, I'm with Kings. Hey, man. Just know you got some more success on your way. More Congratulations on putting another dope ass project under yes, your belt. Y'all got the full support of the 85 South Show. Y'all know where watch, we bro. at. Y'all can watch. pull up anytime y'all want to. Whatever y'all got going on, man. Brother, come on, man. Got, anytime. Got, when you guys want to shoot something, something like, like, hey, like, for your joint, like, hit me. I'll, 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 you know what I mean? Hey, I'll shoot for you. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Put my number in your phone right now. Man, man, give them everybody bullshit. number, man. Yeah, mama. Oh, they bullshit. Hey, do man. It. I, oh, mama. 85 South Show. Oh, mama. Look at Go check it out. Let's <laughs> 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 <laughs>